That was quick. Well, Mr. Christie, I know we've played with lots of times. Have we? Yeah. The name is very familiar, at least. Half level Malfurion, Ooh. interestingly enough. It looks like he might be AFK. <gasps> no. Okay. An old fashioned Gary. I'm going to switch over to. Well, it's Battlefield of Eternity. I was told. Well, I, I, to hold Diablo. Well, I didn't know what the map was. But that's no, you, that's no, you know, you, you objective burn and, and all that. And then we changed it. We can put him on a thing. Oh, okay. There, yeah. that's what you get. Diablo doesn't go on. That's what you get. Doesn't go on the mount though. But we'll always be down. Mm. Oh, he's the raging Canadian. No, Kyle, we banished these. Oh. 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 Uh, right. Okay, we can still do a noob. There we go. Ooh, right, I'm gonna go ahead and we haven't seen a Genji in a while. No, we haven't. We haven't. And picked into Diablo no, no less, which mm -hmm. isn't a big deal. Diablo's good against everybody, but you can say that. Hey, that's personal opinion, Them man. Them right clicks are good versus the Genji. <laughs> All right. Looks like... Victory for the Forsaken. A Sylv and a Malthea. Ooh. I guess we should ban a support would probably be the best guess we could take. Yeah, maybe an Alex. Oh, we, we're looking at oh, perhaps getting one well, ourselves. Yeah, I guess you would be next to grab her, so that'd be oh, mean. Oh, Lunara. Interesting. Some old school objective burn bans. Mm -hmm. well, you know. But we are in an objective burn map. Yeah. And right now they have a pretty decent lead on it with Sylv and Mal. Mm-hmm. Cool. Last pick showing. That would give us a really blobby bottom. Okay. A thrall? Framing would be a good pick into Sylvan and Malthiel, no? Plus mm. he's good against objective. That's a cool idea. Yeah, because he is good. I think Phoenix might do okay, but I do feel like we're going to be doing the Ding first and then running forward. This realm Li Ming, wow. Yeah, they're focused. And then... So it'll be up to you guys to chase them off the if objective. If they do a Stukov, they love the objective. Mm-hmm. Because he's got the beetle, big old meat hand. No. So, so they right. don't love the objective. No, no, they threw it away. Threw it away like nah, so many pieces of trash. Aggressive little team. But our blob is pretty solid, too. I shall do what I must. You do that. What? Your big old stomach scar in that skin. Oh, did she? It looks like it, yeah. Well, she has fought. She's a dragon. Okay, so you're up against a master. Yep, with his diamond two friend. And they didn't do much to even it out, but it's all flat diamonds. What color hairband would you wear, Kyle? If I wore hairbands? 
Well, purple's my favorite color. Okay. I don't think it looks good on me. And it'd get lost in my black hair. So mm. I'd wear something colorful. Okay. Orange. Yeah. Like orange. Yeah. I do orange. Green, green, green is pretty. <laughs> totally meld into the background. Are you wearing a headband, Kyle? No one knows. It would have to match the shirt. Good point. That's true. You gotta be fashionable after all. That's why I have this shirt and these sunglasses. <laughs> the C and C section stands for clutch. She had tons of whelplings. Oh, you can do the green on stream, that's true. Mm hmm Cut off the top of your head. Mm-hmm. Unless you wanted to do a floating head, because then you just drape green around it. And I could pretend to be a floating head. If you had a green gag, you'd but look I'd like have a Canadian. To move a green... South Park. Oh. <laughs> well, we do have a Lee Ming. Uh, Sylvanas auto targets. Must you ask? So I think just for orbs, beetles might be okay, but they really don't like sticking around on this map. So not a good choice. It's not the best because the beetles just buzz directly to top or bottom lane, depending yeah. on where you are. Gotcha. They don't hang around much. And because it's a two-lane map and the lanes are separated, yeah, it's pretty far. But it's not a good regen or map either. So spell armor? It's kind of a tough choice. But yeah, I think spell armor would be the better pick here. Do you have an opinion on the AA Ming build, or do you just prefer her more regular builds? I like the full magic missile build here with a little bit of AA. I think that's solid. I mean, granted, just Forbes win games, and it's tough to say no. The game winning orbs. Well, we saved Thrall, but I didn't like dying there, of course. Genji seeing if he can get a pick in the top, but was not able to. Looks like Dr. Pepper's given a little pro speech to the team. That was pretty tiny. With Sylvia too, we might be able to do a full little W action. circles are not making up the amount of health I'm losing. And that's going to get rougher and rougher as Sylv gets levels. We're all backed out. Looks like we're missing Li Ming. Nice quick disengage. We must retreat. I assume so, right? Yeah, yeah. She's at, well, 36? Holy moly. But we've been working on a crash lightning thrall. So hopefully that'll even out. That's solo tank. I shouldn't do shed exoskeleton. Just end up running away from stuff too fast and everybody dies. Did you get the good Sylv go W build? Yeah, she did. She got okay. a lot of stacks already. Oh, wow. Two constants in life death and beetles. Okay, we got it. No, no, they got it. 
Got a D. Phoenix is going back. Crap some crash lightning there. Oh, I just realized how much I missed the Friday Hots Viewer games with Kristen. I miss Aww. you guys too. Those were a lot of fun. Keep them off of it just a little don't longer. Think I can. Uh, I guess you guys should have sent one Wait. more person back. No. Yeah, we should have circled back one more. Ah, poison. We're absorbing a lot of abilities. Let's see. I mean, we did pretty You're right, they were there. Thursdays, because they were before ITN. That's right, yeah. Now that the new raid is open, are you guys going to be doing the WoW Fridays again? Uh, not for the time being. There are other games on the docket for now. Have anything to get out? If I am dead, but the angel is not dead yet. I wonder how Phoenix is doing against Malthiel. Looks like he just engaged in. We could click up there, yeah. Oh, do I plan on playing Ori 2 on stream? You know what I might? Because Ori 1 was really good. That was a very fun platformer. I'm just waiting for Kyle to go full alliance. Not in this house, man. That would be convenient. That would be the end of our relationship. That would be convenient. XCOM coming anytime soon. If that one happened, that would be Kyle big time. Coming as in onto the stream? Yeah, streaming it. Oh. Ah, I took it as an off stream game, but that's an interesting idea. I just love strategy games. Okay, so we switched off of Phoenix. So he's got that now. Pretty deep. Throw yes. uh, yeah, I was gonna see it. Okay, nice deflect though. Ah, oh, poison. I shall learn shortly, and I expect Well, Kyle likes to do that on Faster Than Light. Name the mm, people yeah, faster than after chat. A great, a great streaming game. But you're right, XCOM has that ability as well. We it's gonna to cause us. Wow, but they're 10, so. I get what you're thinking. And then we'll D one for 10 as well. Okay, let's see. Top damage is still. How did he get out so fast? Look, maybe it was a down. good Leeming connect. I mean, he just stood there, so I wonder if graphically it broke. Quite talking, wait, were you talking about the cocoon breaking? Yeah, or? yeah, the Rhaegar. He was just standing. The, the cocoon disappeared, but he just stood there for a little bit. Oh, you need some help defending this. That Sylvanas is going to burn. 
Go oh, Diablo res. Well, at least with her down. We got our damage up a lot during that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems Rhaegar is not the target because the amount of bursts they're going to have. So it might be Diablo or Li Ming. If Diablo is keeping my team forward, far ahead of everybody else, we can put him in a cocoon and maybe kill the whole back line. We got a stun off there that caused the Sylvanas area to miss. The Sylvanas damage. Well, Genji was on her in the beginning, and he's got great focus, but he's not killing her. Okay. There we go. Is it gonna cost him his life? Uh, yeah. Is it gonna cost Rhaegar his life? Okay. Okay. Ha ha! Jerk! You're gonna take all those shots? Yep. But we've got shield resets now. Cool. With the spikes. And then there's beetles I can poop out to take some shots here. As long as Lee Ming keeps pounding, I'll have a pretty good chance of staying alive. Does a nub shield reset AA? Reset AA. Oh, you're talking about uh, doing a animation reset? Ah. Spell reduction. That was sick. Yeah. Okay, we got a bot to stop. Or does well. it reset AF? Oh, yes, I do. Yes, yes. But we did the kindness plating, which is amazing because... Spell armor works on percent damage now? It might have been a burst, or we might have increased our max health with the shield enough to survive it. Mm. I'm not actually... I'm not actually sure on that. Uh, shields do absorb max health. It doesn't go under the shield. Which is why drains on Zarya don't end up working out all the time. It was uh, Sylvanas and Rhaegar Top that were taking the camp, so they're going to be here burning soon. Okay, and then there's their camp. Mm -hmm. They're really good on breaking your cocoon. I'm really impressed. Oh, good stun. Mm. Oh, oh my god! Wow, life wild. Did you see that yeah, heal? I did see that. Did you see? Oh that my amazing. god! That life finder. That was incredible! Oh my god! Your Alex is killing that it. If really, she doesn't get MVP really for this game, I am just. Wow! All right, we got a bot to stop. <laughs> oh, and the mouth heal ult, does the ult deal damage to percent or percent damage? Right, is it a, a bait, the spell damage it does is based on the amount of health you're missing, not the percent <laughs> as pure damage, is my understanding, right? So. Which is why we were able to block it. I'll give you that high five, Muffin. Are 
Alright, Sylvanas is out. Have you guys played Warhammer 40k games? Oh yeah, yeah, no, I really like the the Total War and Vermintide. Those are both solid. I think Warhammer's killing it with the games they're making right now. You guys are only 17, so don't. Oh, he keeps wasting those yeah, on you. Yeah, I have a shield. It's down. Don't push core. <laughs> Promise me you that's, won't that's push resets core. That's on shields, though, because I'm taking the fire okay. damage. I'm still... so, yeah, we're, we're getting out of here for Okay, sure. all right. Genji can get out. Don't chase this. Don't leave them in here, Kyle. I'm not planning to. They're looking at you as a tank. Start backing. Everyone's safe. Everyone's happy. This is good. Thrall's got speed. He can... Great job. Awesome. That was a sick push. Yeah. And I'm happy. You're reversing now. Oh, wait. I guess we put... I guess it's Diablo, right? Who do we put in this cocoon? It just goes away the second it's up. Well, that's because Rhaegar's really good at focusing. Yeah, Rhaegar is getting cocoon. straight to it. Mm -hmm. So it'd be whoever's the furthest away from everybody else, but Li Ming's laser is used on it. Death to the living. How about Dawn of War? Is that the God of War one? Or uh, I should say even it was probably closer to the Star Wars God of War knockoff. I wanted to play that really bad. I really like God of War games. Oh, look at that. About... Wait, Dawn of War is the strategy game. Uh, the It had Steve Blum in it, but the voice acting was a little rough. And the graphics were a bit old, so mm. I tried it out. I think I even own it from a Humble Bundle. All right. Well, everyone's voting for Ming to be put okay. in the cocoon. Death to the living. They're on that camp. We have a two-level lead. They're gonna have it, yeah. And you've got bottom advantage, so don't die here. This is a sticky fight right now, and you're being targeted by Mercs. Okay, we can just walk yeah, away. Yeah, just that. walk away. Make him waste it. Oh, the objective's up! I didn't even realize. Nice. Okay, and there was Rhaegar going for it. Yeah. So it caused Rhaegar and Diablo to back. Okay, cool silence, bro. Oh, nice, by the Thrall. And we have Genji on the Malthiel, which is keeping him busy. Malthiel's down, so he's not gonna have his ult to waste on you. And there's a Life Binder going yep, out again. And Genji's Diablo. just getting reset after reset. You guys need to go on objective right now. How do you decide when to attack enemy immortal versus defend your own? It's really about this one's pretty easy because they have so much burn that we always do defense first. And now I'm trying to avoid putting them back to a wall so Diablo can have a good engage. Good wiggle by Diablo. Nice. And he won't have souls for this one. Cool, they're dealing with catapults. Yeah, uh, but you have a camp top. Oh, nice start, dude. That made me proud. That's a, that's a great point. That fight, they already knew the enemy wasted a few ultimates as well. So looking for a fight on the Life defense again. is a good idea. These life binders, man! I know. They are hot. They are the sexiest hot cakes. life binders I've ever right? seen. Right? So to give a very simple answer to what can be a complex question, Fishy, is what you're going to want to look at first is how much damage the enemy team does to the immortal versus your team. 
right. and if they have a faster burn, you have to go on the offensive first. Otherwise, they'll beat you at the race every time. The defensive is the defensive, so you would defend your immortal with the bonus of having all those stuns and stuff. Or, I'm sorry, yeah, defend yeah, your no, immortal. No, no, but you're, you're not wrong. It's, it's a little By bit attacking of, the enemy team. It's a little bit of backwards thinking. Mm -hmm. Here he is again! Yep. How many times has he wasted that ult on you? All right, you guys are 20, so you can take this to victory. Yeah, and there's a Play kill. Ming's down. What is the timing on Life Finder and the Malphiel ult? We can check that That's out when the game question. ends. Yeah, Genji's doing great. GG. Look, see, Alex knows what's up. 69. Mm. When you have a real good game. You gotta throw out that 69. Holy moly, that was really cool. Yeah. I mean, granted, the solo tank and a sexy and scary proposition, mm -hmm. but getting that, I can't believe she did. She didn't get MVP, but okay. No, but I can't believe that they did disintegrate and lightning breath into my build. That's why I had yeah. all those shield resets. Because every time I take spell damage, reduce the cooldown by one second. Oh, well, there you and go. Then, I start pumping a lot of damage, double damage against heroes every time I get a reset. Yeah. So that was doing pretty decent damage. I mean, granted, not as much as Genji and his Dragon Blade business. Yeah. But he looked like he was just waiting for Diablo to use his CCs, and then he has free reign. There's a slow. Mm hmm But other than that, there's nothing here to stop Genji. A silence. If it hits. Yeah. So uh, Life Binder is over two seconds afterwards. Two seconds. So we did have to survive the length of it. Mm hmm So I guess you could squeeze in a ancestral heal. Oh, that's a good point. Both ults to counter your ult rather than your build. Mm. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if in this case, Locust would have done better because the pure focus as a team, right? Like damage numbers, these aren't, they're not sitting right on top. Yeah. But these are good damage numbers. Yeah, I hope we answered the immortal question well. I know I know we're basically saying know all the heroes and know what their damage output will be like in a team fight. You should know everything. You should know everything. There's really no one clear. Check answer. their build and see if But they... that's a good place to start yeah. is figuring learning how to figure out which team has the faster burn. Right. Because let's assume both teams go in to fight for the immortal and each is on the immortal that they have to kill. The one with the faster burn is always going to win the objective. So it's up to the team with the slower burn to take out the enemy team with the faster burn so that they don't always win the objective. Well said.